Hi everybody, my name is Adrian Garcia. I am the executive chef at Virgin Hotel San Francisco. Um, we are located on 4th Street in between Howard and Folsom, and today we are going to be making a delicious duck leg confit salad. So we're gonna start with duck leg. These duck legs are specifically coming from Sonoma Poultry. Uh, today we're gonna be confiting, which means to cook in its own fat. Um, and then we're gonna make a nice chicory salad with some pomegranate molasses. Uh, so first we're gonna start with our cure. The cure consists of salt, sugar, black pepper, orange zest, and thyme. So we're gonna put right around four cups of salt, sugar. We have the orange zest and the black pepper. It's been cracked. And then the thyme, you're gonna to wanna to kind of pull off the, the stem, pull the leaves off of the stem there. Once it's all incorporated, we're gonna cure our duck leg with it. We're going to sprinkle some salt pretty heavily to get the cure going. Get some of that salt on there. You're gonna to wanna to keep this in the refrigerator overnight. I'd say right around eight to 12 hours. Put it in your refrigerator. We have here a nice cured duck leg. This duck leg has a little bit of moisture coming out of it, which is perfectly fine. Salt kind of extracts moisture. Um, what you're gonna to wanna to do is pull this and you're going to rinse it. You're gonna rinse off all the salt from it. Once it's rinsed, <clears throat> we're going to put duck fat over it and we just basically pour it right over the duck leg just kind of submerging it under the duck fat we're going to cook it nice and slow at around 250 degrees for two to three hours depending on your oven so here we have a nice cone feed duck leg it's been cooking for around three hours for me okay let it drain some of the fat off you want to try to keep the skin intact so don't mess around too much. And you can see the meat is basically falling right off. So once we cool this, <clears throat> we have a beautiful duck leg ready to fry. We're gonna caramelize this in a, a fryer about 350 degrees. Takes anywhere from three to five minutes. While that's frying, we're gonna make our pomegranate molasses. We have sherry vinegar. We have saba, okay, saba goes in. Pomegranate molasses, because we all have those close to us. Okay, and a little bit of salt. Come on out. This you're gonna put on the stove and reduce by half. We're gonna go right into making our vinaigrette. This is gonna be a sherry vinaigrette. We have our blender here. Um, we have our sherry vinegar. We have a little bit of crushed black pepper. We have some Dijon. This is gonna help with the emulsification process. Dijon goes in. And then we're going to add our oil. Kind of just let it all emulsify nicely together. The Dijon really helps bring it together. So we have our duck leg. Um, my, the preference would either be tongs or maybe some sort of uh, scooping basket, but as you can see, this duck leg has been frying for maybe two and a half, three minutes. It's got a nice caramelization to it. For our salad today, we have mixed greens and a few chicories. Chicories are a Italian varietal of bitter green. Uh, we have treviso, uh, some frise. We have castelfranco, it looks really cool with all these nice red kind of specks on them. We have our sherry vinaigrette. Sometimes through some time it'll separate. So if you have it in a squeeze bottle or even a jar, whatever it may be, just give it a little shake. You're going to go around your bowl a few times to season it properly. Get a pinch of salt. Boom. You kind of want to make it nice and tall and pretty. So we're going to kind of try to bunch our salad together right here in the center, letting it kind of hold itself up. Duck leg, you're going to basically rest up and nestle against your salad here. You have your pomegranate molasses. Texture is nice and silky, kind of like a gastric, which is a reduction of vinegar. And you can just go ahead and sprinkle this around. And a few pomegranate seeds. And there you have your duck cone fee salad with chicories and pomegranate. Thank you.